Well, Jiffy Lube strikes again. This was a uh, fleet company that bought a bunch of these and uh, they use them, they rent them out for like business purposes and stuff. This is a 21 Ford Bronco Sport. The motor's toast. They stripped out the drain plug going back in and uh, slowly went down the road and leaked out oil. And as they're leaking out oil, the warning lights popped on on the dash and the lady thought it was a good idea to try to drive it to get it somewhere safe, but she couldn't, she barely got down the road, uh, maybe like another 20 miles trying to get somewhere to get this vehicle to somebody and the motor locked up. Yeah, these people normally, the fleet companies won't do business with the dealers. For one, they don't want to wait an hour and they don't want to pay the $60, you know, $70 premium price for the oil change. So they go to the quick lube, fast lube places and they typically get younger guys that haven't been doing it for a while or trained, whatever it may be. And yep, completely dry. No oil in this at all. Engine locked up and now it's here waiting on a new engine for it and Jiffy Lube is paying for it yep it was not a local Jiffy Lube so if you know where I work and you think it was a Jiffy Lube around here that's that was not the case and they had it in the shop and when they pulled the drain plug out of it they noticed that all the threads were crossed on the plug that holds all the oil again. Or how it holds all the oil in and it slowly dripped out of here. Uh, so this one's done. Uh, brand new <laughs> 21 Bronco Sport. How many miles are on? Let's see what. It's a shame, man. It's a shame. You know, I know it happens, but it's a sad reality. Well, I guess the battery's dead. Is the battery dead? Yeah, battery's dead, so I can't even tell you. It's got something like 10,000 miles on it. So, what are you going to do? If you guys remember my other video I did where the Jiffy Lube special, no oil, uh, that kind of went viral. That's another one of those videos that I did where Jiffy Lube serviced the, video, uh, the vehicle, and uh, they let it go down the road, and the lady had pictures all over the bottom of the dash, so when there was warning lights and stuff on, she didn't even know that they were on. Uh, they let her go, never put a filter or anything on it, sent her down the road. I think she ended up getting like 30 miles or something like that. And the engine locked up. Came back here. And it was eight, nine thousand dollars later. It's this guy driving with his door open. Yeah, it was uh, some, one of our suppliers, the tires were driving around the parking lot. He left his door open and locked. And I was like, that thing, thing swings open and hits a customer's car or a brand new car to be bad. So I started screaming at him. He's like, oh my God, thank you. Anyway, uh, eight, $9,000 later, that Escape got an engine put in it. And I think that was a local Jiffy Loop that that ended up happening with. So they admitted fault and paid for it. And we've had random quick quick lube quick change places and don't get me wrong there's a purpose for them like i stated before um but it's paying the guys and training them and making them want to be there you know or helping them want to be there by the by how you run the business i know there's a lot of good quick oil change places or lube places that are really really good they actually have full-blown certified technicians that work there but that's not how all these operations are run you ask me how i know I was a supervisor at Jiffy Lube, uh, making just regular Lube Tech pay without supervisor pay. Yeah, back in the day, I had a boss, his name was Pat, he's a district manager. He was a district manager at the time, and then he moved on to another Jiffy Lube to be like some kind of small regional manager. And I think some of you know, down by Bradley Bourbonnet, uh, you probably know Pat, long gone motorcycle accident, ended up passing away kind of thing at least that's the story I heard years ago he's not in the business anymore and how the business was, was run was it was volume in out in out in out in out as much as possible sell 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 not always honest and that's just how the business was uh, 
and I vowed to get out of that business and never be part of that business again because of that type of atmosphere. But when people do that type of stuff, it gives everybody else a bad name. But me seeing how the employees were treated and paid and a lack of training was a huge eye opener for me. But a lot of people still go to those places and do their business. I'm not telling you not to. I'm telling what I'm telling you to do is make sure you're watching the people do the work. Make sure you're checking the oil when you go to pick up your vehicle if you're not doing the in-vehicle service. Make sure you get an idea on how that vehicle was serviced. That's all. Chiffy Lube strikes again.